Okay, how's it going everybody? I know you guys have been asking me a million times and a million times over again. An email and comments to Root Anuk. Sorry it took so long, um, but, you know, I had to uh, convince my wife it was okay for me to, you know, what can I say, get another Nook. So now I have a Nook 7 inch HD and the method I'm going to show you today works on both the HD and the HD Plus as you've seen me do. And it's a new method, it's much easier, and let's get to it. First off, forgive me, I'm using my Galaxy Note 2 to film all this and then edit it. Uh, I am not an avid YouTuber, but I'll do the best that I can. So, XDA, you're going to see the link below for it. You're going to want to go to this wonderful thread by Leapinlar. Root Gaps, HD, HD+, Stock Root, and other mods via Clockwork Mod, Flashable Zips. And my goodness, is this easy. So... He says it, and I agree. Read this first, okay? Uh, it's very important. You first have to install Clockwork Mod. It's not a, um, it's not a two-second thing, but it's not that difficult. And compared to what I did originally, this is unbelievably easy. So, first thing you're going to want to do is scroll to the bottom, okay? And uh, you're going to read about it, but you'll see exactly what they are, and you're going to download extras and Universal Roots and Clockwork Mod. Now there's a different version for the HD and the HD Plus, so be beware of that. There's a four gigabyte SD card version and a non, or rather a smaller one. So if you have a smaller SD card, which is, I use a two gig, that's all you really need and you'll see why. So I use this one, it's, mu it's much quicker uh, and it's very simple to do. So download, again, Clockwork Mod, that's what you're going to be flashing as an image. I'll cl explain that in a couple seconds. Uh, you're going to be downloading the HD, HD Plus Extras and the Universal Root. Now the Universal Root is one way of doing it uh, and rooting it at the same time. Um, well, you know what? Read that portion of it, just download it, don't worry about it, and let's get to it. One more thing before I forget. If you scroll up a little bit, uh, there is a portion that says, number three, there it is, Gaps Play Store. Okay, Gaps is Google Applications. Uh, you're going to want to read on the very first paragraph, there's a link. Okay, that's to download Google Applications. Uh, so download it, and, uh, you know, let's get to work. Okay, so after you download that, or at the same time, however you want to do it, somewhere in Google, just Google Win32 Disk Imager. It is a absolutely free um, imaging app that you're going to use for this. If you're not uh, aware of what imaging is, it's it's a way that you program a it's a file format that you would put uh, onto your SD card. Be aware when you flash an image SD. It's quite a bit of work to get it back to a regular SD card. So get a two gig or a four gig card that you don't you don't care about. Uh, I just took an old Sandus that I had two gig card because you're going to use it primarily as your Clockwork mod. Uh, Leap and Laura also mentions that. So just grab one that you don't really care uh, if you have a big chunk miss missing out of it uh, or that you know is dedicated for your Clockwork mod. Uh, then he has Mini Tool Partition Wizard Home Edition. That's also a free download. I didn't use it, but what you do is you can expand your partition within the SD card um, to add other things on top through Clockwork mod, which he describes. Uh, voice search, also um, white on white repair. There's a couple other things. I don't know if you guys are aware of them at the Nook has and or doesn't have that he addresses. Oh, and uh, also location services through your Wi-Fi. Uh, so I didn't use them. I, I downloaded the light version of Clockwork Mod. I used a Win32 Disk Imager. What you do is you basically from here, you would uh, it, you can see right here, it actually sees that I have it in there already. Uh, I just, uh, I believe I just dragged and dropped the Clockwork Mod image into there. You could just search it, I, you could put it on your desktop, uh, and of course, you know, uh, browse files, and in fact, there it is, on my desktop, that's what I did. So, the Clockwork Mod image, you right-click, extract, onto your desktop, or wherever it is, but in the end, remember where you extracted that image to, because this is going to ask for it, okay? Uh, so, Win32 is going to use your Clockwork Mod that you just extracted, and it's going to 
put an image of Clockwork Mod onto your SD card. So in your downloads file, you're going to see I downloaded everything here. So I have Google Apps. I've downloaded it twice accidentally, but the HD Plus Universal Root and the HD Plus Extras. Before that, as you can see, the first thing I downloaded was that Clockwork Mod. There's Win32 Disk Imager, and I image. Uh, I burned that image file onto it, and you can see there's a bootable SD card now, and uh, that's what how image files work. Is uh, if you're used to the old Nook tablets, you would flash an image file, and on boot, um, on boot up from power from powered off, the Nook will read that as a bootable disk drive, and boot it first. And I'll show you that right now. But before we do that, uh, the only file I've yet to put on here is actually uh, Google Applications. So we'll just drag that and put it into. Uh, the G file there and 23.8 megabytes, there it goes. Now I don't know how tech savvy everyone is that's following all this, but um, basically what you're going to do is you're going to look at the bottom and I'll try to explain what I can, as much as I can, to make it as helpful as possible. Uh, and this, there's a ridiculously difficult little portion here on the bottom of the nook, let me move that away from the screen so you can see it, that you're going to want to open. Um, and use your fingernail or whatever you want to use, but open it up and you're going to um, put your SD card in there face up, okay? So now I already did this uh, to make sure it works before I shot this video. Like I said, uh, I don't know much about video editing or anything like that, uh, so I'm doing my best um, at this, so please bear with me. So here we go. So I suck it in face up, push it until it clicks in, and let's turn it on, and this is what you're going to see. This has a reflection of me. There it goes, and that's where it should go to. If it does not go to sign a boot, universal bootloader, you've done something wrong, start over. Uh, so it's going to load the recovery from the SD card, which it is doing right now. Okay, I'm not pushing anything. And here's what, go here's what you will see. If you're used to Clockwork Mod, that is exactly what we're looking at, okay? Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, Whatever is highlighted, you're not going to see because of the camera, uh, but I'll read it to you. So that's Reboot System now, but we're not going to do that. Volume Rockers. Volume Rocker goes up and down, okay? And the Nook button is your Enter, and the Power button is your Back button. So from here, we're going to go, uh, since I haven't installed Google Apps yet, Here's a good, here's something I can show you. So we're going to go right from here, uh, and we're going to go straight to install. It's a second one down that I, that you cannot see. It's highlighted, though. Uh, install zip from SD card. So I'm going to click on the Nook button, okay? And there it goes. I'm going to do uh, the very first one, choose zip from SD card. And you can see them there. Extras, Google Apps, Universal Root. But what you're going to want to do the very first one is universal root, uh, and then I believe it was extras. So now we're going to do Google Apps, and you can just do them one after another. No need to uh, reboot or anything like that. So one after another, we're going to go to Google Apps, click the Nook button, scroll all the way down or up and reverse it, however you want to do it. Click on Yes, okay, and there it goes, adding apps. Okay, complete. Very good. Reboot and enjoy. So again, to do that, we're going to press the back button. And what was that again? It's the power button. So back, reboot system now. Now before you reboot the system, remember to do this. Remove the SD card. So I did not do that the very first time I tried this, and that was my mistake, okay? So we're going to remove the SD card while we're still here. There it is right there. Get that out of the way, and then we click Reboot. It's going to ask us, this may flash stock recovery, blah, 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 don't worry about it, push no, and off it goes. Uh, so again, I've already registered this device. Since If yours is brand new and you haven't registered it, it's going to go through a plethora of updates uh, and installs and all your typical Nook, new Nook behavior. Let it do that, and let's see what we get. Oh, I should mention, uh, it already has a launcher installed within those extras packages. It's Zeme Launcher. I'm not a big fan of it. There it goes right there. Uh, I'm not a big fan of it. I like using, as you saw in mine, I used, um, I think it was 
Nook is upgrading. So I used uh, Go Go Launcher HD. Okay. Hopefully this is some better lighting here. So vegan, that's my name. I've already registered with my old Nook account there. Get in. All right. So here we go. This is the regular Nook Home. When you push the home button, see I've already mapped mine to Zeme, but let me show you what happens so that I can show you what happens. As you can see here, well here, I'll just show you what we have loaded. So again, I've already bound my home button uh, to go to Zeme by default, and we'll show that right now. But if we go to the apps, okay, there it is. It's the Play Store right over there. Uh, so I've already set up the Play Store. We'll click on it, and I want to show you what you can do briefly. And this is what I'm going to download. Go Launcher HD for Pad. Okay, it installed it, and this is why I'm showing you this. And there's a reason, and it's very important, because it gave me such a headache with my last one. So when you push the Nook button, once in the very beginning, and anytime you download a launcher, that is what you're going to get. Okay? And you see in the bottom there it says use by default for this action. For the longest time, I just kept it... I figured I could use it as a dual boot and go from one to the other as I wished. Problem with that was one time accidentally, I pushed the use by default for this action and then I pushed the Nook home. Now the only way, well I, I looked everywhere online in the forums and I could not find a way out. Thankfully I had downloaded enough applications, so if this does happen to you, keep this in mind, I had downloaded enough applications off the Play Store where they were an automatic update. And because it was an automatic update, the little place for notification came up on top and I clicked on it and it said so and so needs to be updated. When I pushed on it, it loaded the Play Store. When I got to it, I downloaded, as you can see right now what I did, I downloaded an, another launcher so I can get this menu again. So now to avoid this mishap in the future, here is what you do. Use by default and this is the first time launching Go Launcher, so it might take a couple seconds. Okay. Hello, I'm Go Launcher, so on and so forth. Here's the home screen to Go Launcher. I like it. Okay, there's that bottom bar. You can make it disappear with two fingers. And then you could drag down and clean up what uh, open applications with, I think, there's a one finger pull down. And from here, you can do a cleanup. Okay. That's why I like Go Launcher. Uh, I think it's really smooth. I like the way it works. I like the settings. But from here, Sorry for the zoom issues, this is what you have to do. So what Leap and Lara has done for us is he has made this uh, include any cut. Okay, and what any cut does is it makes any shortcut you could want. Long push, you see any cut pop up right there. Push on it. Whoops, nope. Okay, from there you go to shortcuts. That's what I had to do. And from shortcuts, we're going to use any cut to create a shortcut. Click on activity. And the activity that we want is home. Regular home, not home plus. Okay, right there. And there you have it. There's a shortcut for home, and it's the Nook home. So you push OK. And now here you go. So there's your home, which will load the Nook home. So if you still want to use your Nook, like I do as a reader, you have the home and you never will get locked out. I push the Nook button, back to home, Nook button, and it's seamless. And there you have it, you guys. I uh, hope it wasn't too long a video, of a video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, again, I'm no pro YouTuber, but I really do hope this helped. Click on an ad, help out, subscribe, whatever you can do. Maybe I could buy another Nook, give it away. Take care.